Hello! Today we are going to talk about uh, how to make a, a, a small figure with a scale bar and I'm going to give you some tricks so if you see here in the paper the, the scale bars are very important and here you have a scale bar here this is another example with a scale bar and in our case here they have in this paper if you see here they were measuring a time-lapse movie like yours and they are showing what happened in the beginning 50 minutes later 100 meters later and the idea is to have a scale bar so you are able to compare so I'm going to show you a relatively easy way to do it so here for example we have our graph and you have your scale bars in the movies but you just have maybe you just have to focus on one small region of these cells there is no need to if you are just going to ch show how the cells mix here showing all of this is not necessary uh, it will be more important to show what is happened uh, only in this region so how we do it uh, the first thing that you have to do is of course go to image j and copy have a screenshot of this so you have you need to have uh, your picture with the scale bar and here you have uh, for example you copy and paste it here if you have any doubt let me know but I'm sure that you know how to do that later um, and I will send you this PDF you need to copy and paste as I said later you need to make a line so you how you make a line I show you how to go here I'm going to show you again. So you go home, and then after going home, you click here. And suppose that you want to copy this scale bar. So you put it there. So now we made a line. Now we need to adjust the line size. So it, it is the same size that this one so you go here down and zoom and to make sure that you have a similar size so later you go left click here left click here and you go to size and positions and in size and position here you can see if you need for example if it needs to be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller so I change it here and uh, try that it, it is as, as, as close as possible so for example this one looks very good if it was a 79 it would be a little bit bigger but it is relatively fine the problem is if you have for example something that looks like this yeah that is it's too big so let's put 0.78 so we adjust the line and how we did it we went left click in the line again and we went to size and position okay now the next step is to adjust the line size so okay we already did this I'll explain that now we're going to make it thicker yeah this is too this is not thick enough so here I show you how to do it so you go to shape uh, outline you go to the weight and here you can put for example go to six yeah here I show you the steps and here I just show you here go to the outline there are multiple ways to do it left click weight and here you can make it thicker so is is more uh, you can see it easier uh, now you can go and crop and move the scale bar so so you move as we want to focus only in this section you don't need all the other parts of the graph what you can do is here go home again let's make it bigger uh, okay let me find it where is it
Okay, so it was just left click. So you went left click, and here prop is here. You can prop the image, and now you can approximately see where you want to remove the parts that you want to remove of the figure. So, for example, if you just want to focus on this area, maybe have a little bit of the comb. So instead of having the entire region, you can only have this region. And here you have your scale bar. But here you still preserve the scale bar. Okay, so. So now you have it there. Maybe the scale bar could be yellow. So is is uh, and how you do that? Shape, uh, shape outline and you go and pick the color. In this case, it could be white or yellow, so it's easier to see. Let's go. So I already crop, uh, crop and, and move the scale bar. Uh, and I show you how to do it. Left click in the, in the image. Again, and when you do left click, uh, here you find Here is crop the image. Okay, so what happened there? I'm not going to edit this part of the video because I think it's important. Here you can see crop and it appears very easy. However, if you have the line here, uh, when you do left click, sometimes it appears crop, but if you have both highlight, both the image as well as the line, when you do left click, it will ask you if they want to group it. So you move it both at the same time and you can increase the size, but both will increase at the same, at the same ratio. And that is important. Sometimes you want that. So if, if it's not appearing cropping, it's because you are highlighting both. And if you want to ungroup them, just do this. Okay. Uh, next step, you can repeat uh, and do the same thing for our figures. So here, for example, if I want to copy this region, and uh, maybe I know that I want a size. Uh, uh, I can pick the size of this one. Mm -hmm. and said like you know in the second time I need to have this is the size of the next figure and I can crop it around this area so I go again click this image left click here is crop and I can crop it around the yellow regions mm -hmm. And here are the yellow regions. And I can even move it close to the other image. And if you see, those lines can be very useful. They can show you that they are the same size. And in some graph, they, um, you can just keep this one or, uh, or you repeat the entire process. Yeah, the idea is that uh, that you don't modify the sizes, making it smaller or making it bigger. Yeah, so you don't have a graph that, for example, you can have this graph like this. Yeah, that a uh, Although they have the same size, these cells are much they these cells are much bigger, so the scale bar is completely different. Okay, so let's continue with the next section. Um, I already told you about use uh, line nine and the lines to make them similar. So I show you these lines that are important, and here I just want to show you that. Later, you can add the times, so for example, 23 and 36. 
Um, so this is wrong, but later I can show you, we can see how to correct it. But here, what I wanted to show you is that you can go here again, go home, make a square, and you can write here 23 hours, 23 hours after pupation, center it, and you can have later this in black, for example, and this thing in white. And the next one have the similar size, and it can have it can be 36 hours after pupation. Okay, and uh, this is how you do it. Remember, they should have this as same scale. This is, it could be wrong. Uh, the best way in this case it will be to start again and copy the image here, for example. I know that this is the scale bar. Okay, let me put this behind. So I go behind. If you see here now, they have the same size. Now I can actually crop the region that I need. Left click. Um, eh. Okay, very fast. You again look at uh, all the regions. Um, you can, um, if you want, you can have the scale bar or can, you can remo remove it, but the important is they, they have the same size. And you can have it or very close or like this, but showing that they are different. Um, I hope that this was uh, useful. If you have any question, just let me know. Have a good day. And we're in. And if you have any question, let me know.